Wingman the girl and the only band who takes this guy. Sun door number one. I guess we could go open this bitch up. I mean, we've only done one of the little side chapter story things tonight. We should probably do one more before I call it a night. Not that I'm about to end yet, but by the time I'm done reading this next thing, I might be. Anyway, we'll save it right here and let's let's open up the sun door. Bring to me the only girl in a band who takes the disguise. Only then shall the door open. She's here. Let's go. And away we go. Basically, you imagine that Josette's real voice sounds like that Navi voice. Hey, listen. Hey. I get that. I could see that. That's why I gave her the Valley Girl voice. I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Here we go. It's flashback time. Western Calvard, Cal Western Calvard, rather, bordering liberal. 2200 arge above the ground level. It's her homies, a homie, it's her bros. It's their courier service, right? Boo, 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 boo. Have we heard this song already in this playthrough? Probably in one of these flashbacks, and I just didn't register in my mind. Is it spelled Joe Set? Exactly like that, Frog. You spelled it exactly right. Valeria Lakes, visible on the other side of the mountain range. Which means we're almost at the border. You're going to steal that name for a story? Hey, man. More power to you. Shit, now I got to remember the brother's voices. I think this guy just had, like, the deep, gravelly voice. And I think the other brother just is just... I kind of made him normal, I think. Like, just my voice, kind of. But maybe cooler. Anyway. Right on schedule, too. Reduce our speed to 60%, Kyle. Keep our course and altitude the same. You got it. Reducing speed to 60%. Course and altitude are good to go too. Are both good to go. Whatever. All right, we're looking good. Now all we need to do, all we all we need is to stay this course, and we'll be there in no time. Whew. Time for us to kick back and relax. Finally. Good job, guys. <laughs> it's good to know we should be able to make this delivery on time too. You're telling me. The Capio Delivery Service is all about trust, reliability, and happy customers. Without those, we got nothing. Still can't believe this actually is this is actually our thing now, though. Same here. None of this would have been possible if Queen Alicia hadn't pardoned us either. I don't think I've ever been as shocked as when I found out we were off the hook for everything. I know, right? And how she paid off our debts with our with her own funds? She's the reason we can keep this baby here and keep on flying. No one can take the bobcat away from us now. And there's nothing in this world big enough to pay off our debt to her. Damn straight. Still, the least we could do is pay her back the money she used on our behalf. Yeah, at the rate we're going, we should be squared away on the flat front in no time. Oh, sounds like we got ourselves a new job to help with that. <coughs> Hello, you've reached Capua Delivery Service. Yes, mm -mm, I see. Tomorrow morning, then, certainly. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you then. So I was right, then. Where from? From Calvard, actually. Someone wants a small parcel delivered to Grand Cell. If it's Grand Cell, we could take care of that the day after tomorrow. Man, who would have guessed business would be booming when we started the company up? It makes sense, though. There aren't any other delivery companies out there who can offer the kind of flexibility that we do. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the capital, I've been meaning to ask. What were you doing in the guild there this morning, Don? I only just remembered it, but it did have me wondering at the time. Oh, right. Uh, you've actually got a little something to do with that. I do? You see, someone sent a letter to us from over in the Empire. And here's the best part. That someone was none other than Joshua. Really? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, there's someone we don't hear from often. I can't believe you took this long to mention this. I would have wanted to hear, like, right away. My bad, my bad. This morning it was just so busy, it slipped my mind. Anyway, why don't you do the honors for us and read it out loud? With pleasure. Josette excitedly took the envelope from Don. One second. Gotta browse for any dirty stuff. 
forgot how Joshua's going around the Empire right now. I wonder what he's getting up to. Yeah, or where he is in the country. It's a damn big place, after all. Well, wherever he's at, hope he's doing all right for himself. What's the holdup, Josette? You gonna read that letter or not? Seven o'clock, antique artwork. Huh? What? That's not what it says, is it? Yes, it is. Because this isn't a letter. This is a receipt from this morning's delivery, idiot. What? No way. It's also the, the one that should have been given to the person we delivered to for their records. You're kidding me. <sighs> I got a real bad feeling about this. The letter from Joshua was in an envelope from the Empire. And so was the receipt from this morning. Which means... I'm so sorry, Jose. I must have gone and attached the letter to the parcel. My, my mistake. Oh, boy. Anyway, I'll get in touch with the client right away. They should still have it, so if I let them know it's ours, I should be able to get it back. You dummy! Oh, God. Here she goes. How could you go and screw something this important up? How? Do you have any idea how happy I was when I heard Joshua had sent that letter? And then you... You... Josette. I'm really sorry. This one's completely on me. You got every right to be mad. Oh, it's always on you. You've always been the sloppy one. The one who makes stupid mistakes and screws everything up. And it's always the rest of us who suffer for it. You know what? You know that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Hold on a minute, Josette. You might still be able to get that letter back, you know. There's no need to be that hard on him. You stay out of this! Oh. <laughs> Hell, we only became Sky Bandits in the first place because of you screwing things up. If you had got duped and signed that contract, things would have been different. Do you have any idea how much- Josette! Nah! I get that you're mad, but there's no need to drag that up. Don regrets what happened enough as it is. Besides... Besides what? No. She's right. That was all my fault, just like this is. If I'd been smarter, instead of getting suckered in, we would have been... never been driven from our home. Oh. <sighs> now look what you've done. Some things are best left undiscussed, and that's definitely one of them. You're bringing up old wounds, Josette! Punk-ass bitch. Oh, we get some flashbacks with them. We haven't had this yet. If it wasn't for me, we'd still be back in our ancestral home, living a life of luxury. Drinking high-class tea, playing music, getting called to fancy parties from time to time. But nah, I had to go and ruin it all for us. Hey now. We got no attachment to our old lives, you know? It's all in the past. Maybe you? I don't even have Mr. Kenny anymore. <laughs> I had to get greedy and fall for the obvious trap right in front of me. Because of that... We lost everything we had and ended up with nothing but a mountain of debt in return. I lost everything our ancestors had built up just like that. So if there's a bigger idiot out there than me, I sure never met him. It's not like you deserve all the blame, Don. You might have been partly responsible, but so were we for being such naive kids. That's not the point, Kyle. Still comes down to me at the end of the day. Come, come on, back me up here, Josette. <sighs> What's going on? We got trouble, boss, uh, sir. What is it? We got one of those red ships on our tail. They were the societies, weren't they? No way. Well, that's not good. Done. I got it. We can't afford to focus too much on them. Our number one priority is protecting our cargo. We need to focus on shaking them off. Yes, sir. You hear me, lads? We got ourselves an emergency. Get ready for battle. You've all got jobs to do. Do them. Intense music. The Bobcat, huh? You familiar with it? You can say that. I'm surprised by what I'm seeing here, though. Last I saw them, they were Sky Bandits, but it looks like they're running a delivery service now. Huh, <laughs> really now? Talk about simpletons. Anyways, looks like they have no interest in fighting us. Let's just leave them be. Not so fast, have you forgotten our mission? I'd say they're the perfect target for carrying it out, wouldn't you? Wait, you're pulling my leg, right? Attacking them? 
We only need to test whether they operate properly today. There's no reason to actually use them in combat. Please, my comrade. You're never going to move up in the ranks with that attitude. If our target was a Royal Army ship, I'd agree with you. But it's just an isolated ship full of ex-bandits. There's no risk to be had here. Well, I suppose that's true. Besides, the 13 factories want accurate combat data. There's no way they're go we're going to get punished for doing this. We might even earn ourselves a nice reward. All right, you talk a good game. But if this thing backfires, you're taking responsibility for whatever happens, bitch. Well, okay then. Did you see it, Josette? Yeah, I saw it, but... But what? It's not alone. There are a bunch of weapons I've never seen before with it, and they're coming this way. Huh. They really want to fight, huh? Focus on firing at them from the rear to fight, out, fight them off, Josette. Got it. All right. Machine gun mode enabled. Is everything in order? Yep. I'll get right to work. Fuck them up. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Capua Express Delivery Service. Couple up with Capua and we'll take your package anywhere, anytime. And that's a promise. We're fast. We're reliable. You can always count on Capua. So we have a mini game here, I guess. Shoot down approaching enemies and missiles using Josette's machine gun. The controls are as follows. Uh, okay. Can I use the controller with this, I hope? Aim and fire. I don't really know. Any button probably fires, to be honest. You have unlimited ammo, but take heed. Shoot for too long and you'll shoot slower. Shot speed recovers gradually when not shooting. If the Bobcat's health falls zero, game over. Yeah, okay. Basic settings. Let's just play it and see what happens, I guess. We'll do it on normal. Easy mode is... Oh, okay. It is first person, kind of. All right, the A button shoots. Okay. This isn't so bad. I like that they integrated some mini games. I mean, we did find that there was mini games. I mean, like the one of the door, the doors basically said there was going to be mini games included. I guess this is just our first example of a mini game, which I'm okay with. Oh fuck, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up hard. Ah, shit, dude. I gotta get better. I gotta get good. I should have made it more sensitive. So I can move faster. I feel like I'm moving too slow. Yeah, I'm definitely moving too slow. I need a I need faster sensitivity. Dude, stop it. I wish you could change it in mid-game. Yeah, the sensitivity is what's making this go real slow. I think with a mouse and keyboard, I'd be able to destroy this. Shit, can I just switch the keyboard? Let's try it. That's too sensitive, honestly. All right, my, my aim is not as good as I was hoping. Okay, that's a little too sensitive in my opinion. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna do that, it's too sensitive. Oh my God, did I blow that up in time? Cause that was close. Well, excuse my terribleness at this mini game, but it really is coming down to not being able to move side to side faster with the controller. That is really what my problem is here. Damn it. I feel like I'm not doing shit. I feel like I'm terrible. Gotta get this big missile. Now I'm down to 66% health, man. I'm getting wrecked. Fuck you, you bird looking thing.
Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm terrible at this. I am fucking terrible at this. Wow, I can't believe I survived. That was ridiculous. Whew. Is that the last of them? I don't know. We can't let our guard down just yet. Josette, heat signal coming at 4 o'clock. Can you see what it is? I'll get right on it. What is that? It looks like it's got a person in it. Whatever it is, though, it's coming this way. Oh, no. What is it? It's a hella chopper. Huh. Not bad for a bunch of silly ex-bandits. But their luck is about to run out after all. No one stands a chance against the almighty Gilbert. It is Gilbert. I thought it was. Onward, G Apache. It's time to shoot down the Bobcat. Oh, yeah, G Apache. We'll see about that. Damn it. I can't shake him. Oh, he's small, but he's persistent. Whatever you do, don't drop our speed, Kyle. I know. Can you try and make us an op opening to escape, Josette? I'll try. No, I'll do it. I'll fuck him up. Here we go. It's boss time. Look at him go. Get fucked, boy. How the f how in the fuck is that little prop holding up that flying tank? Oh, like the little propeller that it has? I have no idea, Ali, but you know, it's video game logic. Don't fucking question it, bro. Get him! Get him! Video game logic for the win, homie. Man, we're at 58% integrity, y'all. I should recharge. A lot of missiles to take out, but I think we got them all. Suck it, bitch. Oh, shit, there's more. Oh, those were closer. Oh, that was lame, dude. That was fucking lame, bro. Unfair. Shit, dog. He's going ape shit. I can't do this. I can't handle all this. It hurt. Oh my god. I wasn't even looking down there, man. You're a real mick asshole, Gilbert. Got it. Cut that shit out, you bitch. Damn it. Down to 29%, y'all. This is not good. Son of a bitch. Where'd he go, dude? There he is. Got rid of all those things coming at me. Ah. See what I mean, though? I need a little more sensitivity with the joystick, man. I didn't realize it was going to be this slow. No. Fuck. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm a three percent. No, I lost. 
Oh, wait. Exit door? Exit door? Wait. Oops. Are you serious? I didn't mean to exit the door like that. I just wanted to change the controls. Motherfucker. Oh, my God. Well, that wasn't that much dialogue, and it's all dialogue, so we can skip it quickly. But damn it. I didn't mean it. I, I mean, I meant to go back because I wanted to switch the sensitivity on it. But no. All right, up to the mini game. Here we go. It really wasn't that much, was it? It was just a bunch of talking, and we did go through that story with the flashback, but it wasn't like a lot. Damn it. How much armor and firepower does the thing have? Apparently a lot. Apparently a lot. It's pretty ridiculous, Allie. It's pretty ridiculous. borderline not fair well part of it is the game kind of expects you to use a mouse keyboard or at least mouse to play this mini game and with that i can aim a lot faster right but it also has joystick sensitivity that i could have upped and i didn't realize how slow it was gonna be so i'm gonna make it like as fast as it goes and just hope that that'll help me because that shit was way too slow why anyone would want it to be that slow to even play the game. You basically have to anticipate everything and know exactly what's coming. I gotta do the first part of the minigame too, but that's okay. At least we get to practice with the new sensitivity before we fight the boss. Alright, let me change the settings before it starts. Thank you. I wanna make the sensitivity the highest it goes. I'm probably gonna regret that, but we'll see. Here we go. Holy shit, I am gonna regret that. That's way too fast. Oh, shit, I can change it. I just found the button that lets me change it. Oh, my God, why didn't I just look for that before? All right, that's actually really nice that I found that. I just started pressing other buttons, and I found it. Okay, this is a little bit better. Might still be a little too much, huh? Let me do, like, a, I only need it to be a little bit faster, I guess. Just fast enough so I can catch up to what's about to shoot at me, you know? I think this will probably be good. So now I can go back and forth really fast. I'm just terrible at aiming still, but I'm fine. I just gotta get the, the timing better. And you can barely, you have to get really ahead of those fuckers. supposed to do this shit sensitivity or no there's just too much going on man ah ah <sighs> I'm doing terrible I'm really not doing much better than last time is basically what it is Not much.
don't care about these little lasers. I need to get rid of these big bombs. More important. Those little pew pew lasers don't, don't bother me as much as the missiles. Shit, speaking of missiles, good lord. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize those guys were flying right at me. What a assholes. Blow it up! Oh my god, I got it barely. Oh, these guys again. Laser men. Laser birds. My favorite. Hi yeah yeah, this is ridiculous. Alright, I think I made it to the boss fight with 80%, which is better than I had last time. I think I had 60. So it is better. But now I'll be able to I'll be able to keep up with his missiles better because he's just keeping track of him and all his shit. Alright, ready? Here we go. I'm just not, I'm just not, I'm not owning him enough because now he's bopping me with his fucking regular ass machine gun. Stop it. Stop it, sir. <coughs> Stop it, sir. See, now I can go side to side much faster and actually pick off all his missiles much easier. Much faster. Where'd you go, you fuck? Get fucked, Gilbert! Haha, -ha, get fucked! I got all your missiles, bitch! Far and close, fucker. Shit. Ah. I didn't let my missile thing recharge enough. Or my missile thing. My machine gun. Oh, fuck. He shot some from below and I didn't notice. All right. Well, we got all the we got all the scariest stuff. He, bo he bopped my shit with missiles that time. But I was too busy waiting for my damn machine gun to refill. Fuck. That was uh, un uncool. Uncool, sir. Yeah, I got all the missiles. So there you go. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy! You fucking dickbag. Yeah! Get fucked, homeboy! Son of a... You son of a biscuit-eating bulldog! He looks like he's on fire, so he must be almost done. Most concerned about the little missiles, those mines were those mines in particular were a little dangerous. Had to get rid of those. Damn it. I thought I hit all those missiles, but I missed one on the left. There we go. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. You fuck. 
Stop it! Fuck me, dude. I can't believe I'm down to 22 fucking percent on this shit. This is ridiculous. It's a really hard mini game. I don't care how good you are shooting. Oh my god, I I think I got him. Fuck man, I almost lost. That was way too close. Jesus. This can't be happening! How could you I patch you about you to be done? Where's the preparing shoot in this hand? No! This is the button to deploy the big victory is mine flag! Oh sucks to be you, Gilberto. No! <laughs> Get fucked. Fucking Gilbert. <laughs> what should we do? Should we go down and recover him? What? Uh, forget it. I say we just leave him. Lord Campanella seems to have taken quite a liking to him, though. You sure? I think that's all the more reason we should leave him. You know what Lord Campanella's personality is like. He'll probably find the whole thing much more entertaining this way. I guess you're right. <laughs> Oh, fucking Campanella. <laughs> We're victorious, even though that was too fucking close. D did I get him? I'll say. Best of all, looks like he fell into Valeria Lake, so he'll be fine. The society guys beat it, too. Damn fine job you did there, Josette. If not for you, we'd probably be the ones swimming in the lake now. Yeah, you did great. The second time, anyways. <laughs> oh, there's no need to make a, that big a deal out of it. You probably could have thrown them off our tail, even without my help if you had a bit more time, Kyle. And besides, it was all because of Don's leadership. Uh, oh. What's wrong, Jose? Uh oh, yeah. Huh? Are you two still stuck on that? Ugh. There's really something to be said about being honest with one another. Hop to it, Josette. If you got something you want to say, spit it out. Right. I'm sorry, Don. But then you'll forgive me? After how badly I messed up? Why else would I be saying sorry to you, idiot? You don't need to make me repeat myself. Whoa! <laughs> What's up with you? I really am the luckiest bastard alive. Who else can say they have a younger sister as great as you? No one, that's who. <laughs> Stop that! Everyone can hear you! So sorry. Uh, oh, and sorry for all that too, Kyle. And thanks. Ah, forget it. That was all you. Is your ladyship in here? Your ladyship? The fuck? I am, but what is it? Well, when I was securing the cargo earlier, after we got attacked, I found this envelope on the floor of the storeroom. I was just wondering if you had any idea what could it be. Wait. Could it be? Looks like our client didn't get a receipt or our letter this time. <sighs> Man, every time I think I can't get any stupider. <laughs> anyway, it's this thing here. Roscoe handed over the envelope. It's from the Empire. This has to be it. Th there a problem? There was, but it's all fine now. Thanks for giving this to me. Uh, anything for you, your ladyship? Uh, well, I'll get back to work. Uh, uh, uh. Whew, I'm relieved we found the letter. Lucky us, huh? So, what's written in it? Let's see. Huh? Apparently he's going to be leaving the Empire soon. He says he's in the middle of looking for someone. Yeah, I wonder where he's going next. That's it, huh? That's it, though? I figured there'd be a personal message for you in there or something. Well, there is, but it's not much. It just says not to forget to take it easy once in a while and look after yourself. <laughs> At least that he sh that shows he cares about you in his own way. There's one more thing under it, too. What's that? Ugh, 
this bit's from Miss Stafford Brains. There's no harm in acting tough, but it's all for nothing if you go and get yourself hurt. Huh. She could just mind her own business. Sounds like something she'd write, though. <laughs> sure it's nice of him to take the time to send us a letter, huh? Anyway, I'd say break time's over for us. Yeah. We're gonna need to get the get a move on if we want to make our next delivery on time. Should I speed her up then, Don? Yeah. We're gonna need to make up for lost time. Raise her up to 90% thrust, 2,000 SPH. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright. Please tell me that's all. I mean, it's a nice little side story. We get it. We got to shoot down some shit. That was like for a mini game more than anything. That was a fun mini game, but damn, it was a hard. I was terrible at that. Jesus. The best way to play that was definitely mouse keyboard, but I am bad at aiming, apparently. I tried. I really did. It was overly sensitive for me, personally. But anyway, that's Capio's delivery service finished. Side story done. And we got the detection uh, quartz. And Josette learned an S-Craft for the Bobcat. Yay, yay. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. My battle count is up to 78 battles and 73 victories. I don't remember if it said I had to fight 100 or win 100, but we're up to 73 now, Frog. So I have a ways to go still to get to a hundo. Um, man, what do I... Do I want to keep going right now? I kind of do. I would love to try and maybe... Uh, I'm not going to finish up Grand Cell area today. I'm just not. The only reason I say that is because... There's a freaking... I have to go to the Coliseum. And whatever else is over on that one side. Did I save it after I finish that, by the way? I will now. I'm probably only going to go for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna, I am gonna—I want to check out the Coliseum thing. I want to see what that's about. I wonder if we're going to get another character while we're here, or if the rest is just going to be like boss fight and whatever else. Just to open up the castle. Because each barrier we've opened... Oh my god, this fucking ghost, really? Oh my god, and this area is starting to get choppy as fuck. I'm getting really annoyed by it, too. Jesus. I took all these fuckers out with Vander last time. I also, this is my first battle using, uh... Using what's-her-face? Josette. I forgot we haven't used her in battle yet. So what does she got? She got Stampede. Hits all... In, or one enemy's vitals. Defense... Yeah, she does have a debuff then. That's good. Throws out a metal anchor and commonly steals from foes. So you can steal with her. Interesting. Let's try it. Yo, I got a purging bomb. Let's go. It doesn't do any damage, though. It's unfortunate. Let's do a little bit of that Ragnabine. Hold still. Let's end this. Ooh, give fuck, ghosty booch. 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 Get boop it in your face, bitch. A bitch. A bit. A bit. A baby back bit. Alright. Damn, those dudes give you a lot of water sepith. Those, those, the ghost dudes. I think that's what's giving it to me. Dude! The game. I, wow. It's just bad. Wow. It's just so bad. That, that minigame and stuff that I just did with the side scene with the Capio stuff, it ran fine. But now, holy shit, things are just tanking right now. What the hell, game? This game is not very well efficiently written for certain hard drives, man. Or not hard drives, but GPUs or whatever. It's so crazy how bad it gets. It's like the battles are fine, but man, out here in the world, like, holy crap. So s ridiculous. Anyway, let's go on this Coliseum and check it out, shall we? Where are we now? 100% positive this is the Grand Arena. It's used for all kinds of events in liberal, like martial arts tournaments and stuff. I still despair of the fact that Olivier actually entered. If I'd known he was going to, I could have stopped him. But by the time I heard that what was going on, they had already won. <laughs> Aren't you used to his surprises by now? Oh yeah, you and your brothers took part in that tournament too, right, Josie? 
Estelle and Joshua mentioned it a while back. Yeah, we did. Can't say it was much fun. We were basically just dragged into the arena as criminals. Wait, where did that Josie thing come from? Why am I the only one that gets a weird nickname? Huh? Not a fan? Just popped in my mind. I thought it was kind of cute. It fits you perfectly, too. But if it bothers you that much, I guess I could go with something else. Joe? Just call me Joe Zet like everyone else does. Regardless, it feels as though something is lying in wait for us in here. We should proceed with caution. Agreed. I'm down to fight a boss before we end this ses session off. If that's what we're going to fight, I'm down. I'm down. Diggity down. Da da down, so down, down, down. Anyway, we found another sun door. Bring me... Bring to me the fists of steel, which in nothing in this world can move. That sounds like our big friend, uh, what's his face? You know who. Big McPunchy face, man. Wow, why am I blinking on his name? Motherfucking William Shatner himself. At least that's the voice I gave him. <laughs> Z. Zin? Zin. Zin? Is that his name? Zin? I think his name is Zen. I don't know why I'm blanking on his fucking name. Oh, hell yeah. We found another teleport spot. Bitchin'. Which means boss fights inside the arena. Let's check the shop, though. There's probably some new shit. There's a new... S There's a new gun for Josette. Let's buy that for sure. For sure. And a new sword for Vander, Ol Vander Holyfield over here. All right. I don't really need this. I have I have a pair of these already and not equipped, so if I need them that bad, I can use them. Blind and seal. Do I want these? I should buy one of each of these. I'm probably going to find one now that I'm buying one, but let's buy one of each just to have them in case I need that those uh, status effects defended against. Because we can even equip those fuckers right now. You know what else we haven't done in a while? Orb mint stuff. Long barrel 2. Increases the firing range of guns and cannons. Oh, this will work for her. I didn't realize that that worked for anybody. Which version of Direct X do I have? I think the version that this game is running with, it's not the version that you have. Games will utilize whatever they're going to use. I think the, this version that this running with is Direct X 8. I could be wrong, but I think that's the case. I'm going to give her that one and then give him this one. Oh, yeah, I got new weapons for them too. Okay, everybody's got their better new weapon. Okay, let's check out the orb and situation. I know I got some new orbs. What do I got? I got Scent, Septium Vein. Ooh, I should have that on so I can get some more Septium from stuff. I don't really care about Scent. Display treasures locations on the map. Uh, that's nice, but I don't feel like I need it. I'll, oh, man, nobody needs hit anymore, though, huh? Oh, she's got spots, and so does he. Well, let's give... You know what? I want to give this detection one to one of these dudes. Or, not detection. Septium Vein to one of these girl do 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 dudes Oh, perfect. We'll give that to Reese. Hell yeah. Wow, giving her scent gives her a bunch of moves, too. Almost worth it. Almost. I, I'll, I'll put detection on somebody for now because we have spots. He already has hit one, so we'll give her the hit one over here as well. Because why not? You found a, stre a, stre uh, a steam thread about DirectX 9 bugs and fixes? I mean, I can look into it more, Frog. I just didn't realize it was going to be this bad. And today, was today it got much worse than last time today, like surprisingly. I was surprised how bad it got for a minute there. Like, restarting did help. I just don't want to have to restart like every hour. That seems silly, you know. But I guess I can. It's not a, it's not that hard to close out the game and restart it. And before I go out into this arena, let me look over here and see if there's another item. No, that's a dead end again. Okay, fuck it. Who's ready for a boss fight? Let's do that shit. You know there's gonna be a boss up in this bitch. I'm excited about it. Let me check out my tactical situation. I'm thinking I'm gonna switch. No, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna move her here. That way they're a little bit more spread out. Here we go.
Actually, this might be the end of this section. Like, the next step might be going to the castle, and that takes me to the next area. But we'll see. Well, we made it to the arena. Heh. <laughs> this is where some enemies show up out of nowhere for us to fight, isn't it? You know it. And there they are, motherfucker. There's four of them. Oh, these aren't even boss fight enemies. These are just random-ass ghosts and knights. Whoa! Now look what you've done. It's just a coincidence, I swear. Me and my big mouth. I feel like I've just been set up for something. Who cares why they're here? We gotta fight them. Here they come. Oh, that was... Here they come! Some people are saying with them it's... Wait. With them it skips frames if they aren't in borderless window mode. Again, I'll... I'll tr maybe I'll experiment with it after this stream, Frog, and see if I can mess with it. I'm not gonna do it right now. We're in a battle. The battle has no issues, so we're just gonna roll with it. All right. So this is not a hard battle right here. This is just four dudes we've already whooped ass on. So let's just handle it like we would in a normal random fight. Cause I'm feeling like this is gonna turn into a boss fight. But uh, I appreciate the help, Frog. That's not like I'm telling you not to help. But I will look into it more after the stream, I think. Just because I didn't expect it to be such an issue, but now today it is more so than last time. Let's end this. Get fucked up, homies. Hers are all uh, single targeting, so let's just attack that one. One down. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Get slashed on, ho. I'm gonna steal your shit. I'm gonna steal your shit. Give me that purging bam, bitch. Do the shit. No? Damn it. You just had to live one more turn, you fuck. Get out of here. Easy game. Ooh, level up for Vander, too. Nice. Mueller. 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 Oh, boy. Another round. Ooh, the harder enemy showed up. Uh, more? We'll defeat as many as we have to. The harder bitches showed up. See, I'm glad I didn't go all out. I'm still not going to go all out here because I feel like a boss is going to show up after this. I'm still going to use some stuff, obviously. I'm not going to go too... I'm not going to be too lazy. Like, that was good. Oof, that hurt. Oof, that hurt. Hit them all, baby! Definitely missing my buff for this fight, for sure. Definitely missing that shit. Um, I'm gonna do defense debuff on the one that has the most. This guy. Man, those fuckers hit hard, man. Jesus. Get ready for a crit hit, bitch. Oh, I'm not close enough to hit any of them multiple. Lame, dude. Well. I rest the least amount of HP. Got him. The dudes with the blade arms definitely hit harder. I'm just trying to get these off my screen. You know what I'm saying? Alright. They both got defensive debuffs now. Finish them. Oh, I should have done impede. I'm an idiot. Fuck. I should have done impede there. That was dumb. I kind of forgot impede will stop them from doing their move. Completely just overlooked that. I could have stopped him. Let's just attack this fucker. Got him. I need to heal, man. If I'm, if I'm going to do another fight after this, I need to heal. Alright, finish his ass off. 
Don't even let him get his attack off. All right, let's see how this impending, most likely boss fight. Here it comes. Bah. How many of these fights do we have? Are we gonna have to do, man? Our next foe seems to be quite large too. And epic! Oh boy! Wow, it actually looks pretty fucking awesome. What in the the hell? Is that an armored horseman? Seems to be. Uh, I can't even do any voices anymore, man. I'm, I've lost all my voices. Seems to be just like the one Estelle's crew beat under Genus. And not to jinx us, but this is probably going to be the last one. So let's finish this. All right. Time to go all out. All right. Be wary of HP, though. We did get wrecked at the end of that fight. Oh, he's got little homies. Little flaming skull bitches. Okay. 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 Should I just do this and fuck them all up? I kind of want to. If I, damn, I can't hit them all, though. I'm only going to hit two of the skulls. Damn. Um... What do I want to do here, man? Are they weak to any elements at all? These fuckers are weak to water and light, or whatever the white one is. And this guy's weak to nothing. Oh, no, he's weak to black a little bit. They're weak to water, huh? Tempting to just bop these dudes with a with a water move and hope they just die. Although this guy's a, his magic sucks, so I shouldn't even bother. Um Fuck it, just do that to one of them. I'm just gonna get rid of these flame fuckers. Okay, yeah, he he gets rid of them with his slice of ice. Oh, they blow up. Oh, that's good to know. Oh boy, that looks fun. Um, cool. Damn it, I almost killed him in one hit. Oh no. Vander Holyfield, don't die. Oh shit, am I CP? What happened? Oh, what the fuck, dude? What happened to my CP, bro? What happened to my CP, bro? Ooh, okay. Well, I don't have much CP. I would love to heal some of it. That'd be great. I said a swing witch on him. And we learned the recipe for swing witch. Sweet. All right. Uh, crafts, arts. What does this do? Hits all? Don't mind if I do. Fuck it. Fuck it up, girl. Welcome to the Bobcat. Fuck them up. There it is. Get rid of all those floaty boys. I know one of them hit me, but you know what? The damage was probably worth it, honestly. I'm just going to do it anyways. I'm going to give Mueller a, like, a really good healing item. As long as he lives. Oof. He went for the AoE, which is okay. All right. Let Vander heal himself for the moment. He need it. All right. My defensive got debuffed. Holy shit. That's not good. Oh, and the flame the flame have the flaming heads respawn? Oh, that's that's booty. I don't like that. Don't care for that very much. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Don't, don't. I'm gonna heal. Only because Josette needed it so bad. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bothered. Um, let me. Can I do the AOE and actually kill that little bastard? Oh, that was not the AOE. Or if it was, he definitely didn't hit both guys. That's fine. Uh, let me try Ascension on this dude. I wasn't paying attention how much damage he did. We didn't do that much. Oh, we need to impede him. And we need to impede him now. I don't have a lot of impede moves, do I? That's unfortunate. Uh... Do this, I guess. Impede him. No 
Okay, that did impede him, but he's gonna go again. And I don't have. I don't. Wait, does she have an impede move? She does not. Let's defensive buff him, though. Or should I say defensive debuff him? Good shit. Oh boy, it's gonna hurt. Ugh. Ugh. I didn't care for that. Mm -mm. Did not care for that. Oof. Ooh. Uh, apparently I am paralyzed or whatever, and that is not good. Poison sealed blind. I don't... Am I sealed? I guess I'm sealed right now. I'm gonna have them all just use purging bombs on themselves. So they can't be so they're not sealed anymore, you know? They need the heals anyway, so it's fine. And her, I'm just gonna have her use a Tira bomb on herself. On, let's, do it. let's do it! Okay. Now. Uh mortal punishment. I'm just gonna keep hitting this guy while his defense is beef up. And we are not doing much damage to this guy right now, though. Uh, Tira Bomb, I guess, because he's going to die otherwise. Did I just not hit this skeleton, or did one really respawn? I don't really know. I don't really know. Okay, I'm going to do... Yeah, I didn't think that would actually pull him in, but I wanted to see... And I, I think he resists faint, which I just confirmed. Son of a bitch. I don't like that move. I'm going to have her heal herself so she can get rid of that seal. So I'm just going to keep hitting him right now, I think. This guy is just a savage, man. Like, in terms of his power is just ridiculous. Part of me was kind of hoping maybe he could be confused. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so he's calling for more. He's calling for more, y'all. So he does waste a turn to call allies, I just noticed. Confirmed that. Damn it. Alright, let's hit him with a little bit more of that fucking ascension situation. You can just use another purging bomb. I'm glad I got a bunch of these. This is really helpful that I stole a few. Combine with the ones I found. Drop. Got dropped from drops. Been very nice. It's probably safer to leave those flame helm like things alive if there's only a couple. They don't do that much damage by themselves. He needed that HP bump. I was getting kind of annoyed. Uh, let's do Confuse again, I guess. That does a good damage. I really want her to get enough CP to actually cast that move to get his defensive buff down again. Right now his defense is still down. You gotta take advantage of that shit. It's gonna wear off eventually. Ooh, shook him. I like that. Cause yeah, it's like it's withstandable damage. I'm fine right now. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just do this. He's pretty close. You know what? I'm at the point where his defense is still debuffed. You know what? Fuck it. Let's see it. Call upon the power of Venda! Hell yeah. Oof, that hurt a little bit. But it did good damage to him, so I'm happy about it. Alright. I'm gonna do... What is hers move? He's got 4k left. His defense is still debuffed. Kind of tempted to just go for it, honestly. Heavenly strike, bitch! Ooh, he's almost dead. Ooh, he's almost dead. Finish him. Finish him. I'll do the defensive debuff just in case. He's done, son! Get fucked, you big armored bitch! Let's go. Not an easy one, but we are victorious. 300 plus on the red and 300 plus on the wind. My god. Actually, wait. No, I have over 300. I got 200 on the red, 99 on the rain. Sorry, I was looking at that wrong. 
My totals are the left. The plus is what I just got. Sorry. Goddamn. Bunch of drops and defense three. Nice. All right. Get fucked, you armory bitch. Baby, baby, bitch. Ooh, another another sealed thing. Okay. Okay. Woohoo! It left behind a stone. I mean, if it's here, it's going to be Zins, right? It has to be. Who else would you get in the arena? Is this our price for winning? <laughs> Only the best for the champions. Whoever set this sure up, put up a lap. Whoever set this up sure put a lot of effort into making it feel like a proper tournament. How dedicated of them. Well, congrats, gang. We found our fifth ceiling stone. Let's head back and see who's inside. Understood. It's hard to believe there's seriously someone in that thing, though. I mean, is it really that hard to believe, though? Wait, is there... Can I go out the other side? Totally cannot. All right, well, that felt like end chapter type boss shit, so I wonder if I take this back, it's going to end the chapter. I'm trying to remember how ch the last chapter actually ended earlier. I kind of want to take this back and see who it is. Like, I'm, I, I I, feel remiss if I leave it, if leave y'all hanging in on who's, who's in the side of this thing, so I'm going to go find out myself, honestly, because I wants to know. I wants to know. Uh, we're already healed. Let's just, let's just, oh, you know what? I will save it, though. I didn't save it after that fight. I want to do that just in case. Now, maybe I did save it after that fight. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. Let's unseal this bitch. Unleash. Who we got? Who we got? Who we gonna be? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm hoping it's Zen. Based on the location, that's probably the best bet, but I could be completely wrong. It'd be somebody completely random. But first, what does it unlock? It unlocks the castle, y'all, as expected. And for victory, we get... Oh! That looks like... <laughs> so even he ended up in here. Oh, boy. So one of the stars of the show makes his grand appearance. This is someone you know too? <laughs> no is an understatement. He's everyone's favorite black-haired prince. Wait, black-haired prince? What? What? I was not expecting to be Joshua already. Really? Kick fucking ass. Even better than Zen. Joshua is a savage. I love this guy. Now I can stop accidentally saying his name because he'll be with us. Hell yeah. Estelle, get down. What? Joshua! Joshua! <laughs> Josette? Tita? Is this a dream? Or some kind of illusory tactic meant to disorient me? Trust you, get, trust you to get the right... <sighs> trust you to get right into theorizing. Sorry, but this ain't no dream, or illusion for that matter, bruh. I'm surprised to see so many of you here, or to find so many of you here. Mind telling me exactly what the situation we found ourselves in is? Uh, let's fill in uh, Joshua. Dude, bitchin', dude. I really thought it was gonna be Zen. Why the hell is Joshua in the fucking Coliseum tournament arena thing? I don't know. Um, guess that wasn't enough to convince you that this is all actually happening, huh? Oh, not at all. Consider me convinced. While the idea of this being an illusion seemed initially plausible, the existence of your companion over there made it quite unlikely. Me? Correct. Am I right in assuming that you're a member of the Grawls Ritter? You can tell? Well, you're with Kevin and use a Templar sword to fight. Safe to us. So it was a safe enough assumption on my part. My name's Joshua. Incidentally, Joshua Bright. Free Sergeant. I'm a squire. Since we're on the subject, I'm curious how you came to be familiar with us in our organization. Wait a second, Joshua. Why does her being here there prove this isn't an illusion? Is me being here not proof enough for you? Oh, you know, 
I don't think I've ever seen you with that visor on before, have I? Does that have to do with that delivery company you mentioned r running a while back? It suits you. Yeah, that's it. We're doing awesome for ourselves these days, too. But you didn't answer my question. Surely you can tell just by looking at me that I'm the real thing. Generally, when you're an illusion, the other people who appear in it are people you're familiar with. That reason being is they draw on and utilize knowledge the victim has within in order to create the world. I've met the rest of you, but Reese is a complete stranger. And not any complete stranger, an unusual one, too. So she may not prove for certain that isn't an this isn't an illusion, but she does make it seem rather unlikely. I, I think I get what you're saying, maybe. Basically, the reason I don't prove this isn't an illusion is because we're so close. Well, you could put it that way, I guess. Ha, <laughs> okay, that's fine by me. We're close, ha <laughs> ha. Teehee. Anyway, it's so good to s It's so good to see you again, Joshua. I'm glad to see you're looking well, too. You've grown a bit in this past half year, haven't you? Ah, oh, you noticed! I'm surprised to see you caught up in all of this, though. It must have been a real surprise to find yourself here all of a sudden. Yeah, it still doesn't feel completely real to me, even after all this time, to be honest. Oh, right. Um, you don't know where Estelle can be, do you? I wish I did. That said, I'm sure she was surrounded or she was surrounded by the same white light I was. I'd say the odds are fairly high that she's somewhere in Phantasma like us. Oh. Actually, where were, where were you before you ended up here, anyway? Your last letter said that you were in Erebonia. Were you still there? Oh, no. Not anymore. We're over in Crossbell at the moment. Or were, with the situation as it is now. Really? We were flying over there before I ended up here, too. You were? Huh. I wonder if there's anything to that. It's relatively, oh, it's relatively close to Liberal, so that may have something to do with it. I myself was in Erebonia, but I was in the town closest to the border with Liberal. Oh, right. I have a question for you, Father Graham. Supposing that we assume all of this was caused by, incredibly, by an incredibly powerful artifact, do you think such a thing would be able to exert its influence as far as Crossbell or Parm? I seriously, seriously doubt it. The only thing I could think of that was able to affect that wide an area was the Orioles' orbital shutdown phenomenon. That actually did reach the southern edge of Erebonia. I see. So it would need to be something as powerful as one of the Septarians, then. Although, speaking of which, is the Aureole itself still unaccounted for? You can't mean this is the work of the Aureole! I don't think we should rule out the possibility, Tita. But even if we assume the Aureole is involved in some way, that wouldn't answer most of the questions we want answers to. Indeed. Such as who our enemies are or how Grand Cell ended up filled with fiends and magic and barriers fiends and magic barriers or how we ended up facing actual embodiments of devils from church scripture or the presence of higher elements until we have a theory that can explain all of those mysteries we should probably refrain from jumping to conclusions i would have to agree still that being the case i'd like to propose we focus on working out what happened to grand cell first and foremost my thoughts exactly bro i know you're probably worried about estelle right now but would you be up for helping us bro that was my intention from the beginning can't very well turn my back on friends in need, for one thing. Besides, I think I'll find her a lot faster by helping out rather than sitting in here worrying. I hope we do. Well, I'll be glad to have you with us at least. That's what I wanted to hear, man. Or cheers, man. Well, as soon as we're ready, we should make our way back to the capital. I expect something will have changed there as a result for of us releasing Joshua from his stone. Right. Right toe indeed, right toe indeed, right toe indeed. You know I'm gonna bring Joshua, cause he's such a fucking savage. You ready? You ready? Oh hell yeah, dude. I'm using him over Vander for sure. Fuck you, Vander. We're using Joshua cause he's a savage. He's the best. This fucking Josh. I'm gonna have a hard time taking Joshua out the party. I was afraid we were gonna get those bitches early, and here we are. Well, chapter two is not officially over. I still think we're close to the end of it. I don't think I'm going to go to the castle right now because I don't want to get sucked into another cutscene that's long and go into the next area and get, you know, a bunch of talking that I really don't want to read right now. I think this is a good place to stop because for all I know, there's another hour before that happens or there's five minutes. I don't know. Maybe next time we'll just be kicking off with chapter two right away or chapter two ending chapter three rather. We'll see. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. I'm very much enjoying just playing the game. These games are just fun in general to play. The battle system is just a really good turn-based system. I really like the, that. Um, the story's a little weird and out there. We're still 
stuck in a mystery right now, getting little flashbacks. I don't know what the flashbacks have to do with anything yet other than just being little tidbits of backstory. I really don't know if they have any intertwining things. Um, I am aware that I should go back to Tita's door, and I will do that probably in the next session just because I want to check out what the hell happens if you go back to her door. Uh, I guess you guys will have to let me know if there's any other doors I should be going back to besides hers because at this point, that's the only one I know about and that's the only one I'm going to bother with. So, yeah. I mean, hers did say, like, Tita memory one. The other ones didn't have, like, a, a, a number on them, so maybe that's the only reason why. I don't know. Either way, we'll figure it out next time on Trails in the Sky the third. Tits three, baby. See you guys in the next one. Peace.